What's up guys? I just washed the bike. Let me roll myself over here. Really washed the bike good. So the ultra cool oil cooler system is all complete. Everything is on there, ultra cool oil filter. But I have to mention this before we go any further in the video because JJ from Ultra Cool watched my video and I made a little installation error. It's pretty small, but it kind of could be big. So I hope everybody that's watching the previous video is watching this one, just so you guys know the mistake I did. So nothing in the front with the installation that I did wrong. Everything up there is a plus. But over here, I thought this was the accessory port, which I should have checked with my meter, you know, once I switch power on, but this is power all the time. This is constant power. This is not the one. So what you want to do is I backed out. You remember that blue wire? I backed it out. It's not on the left side. It's on the right side, right here. And this is the connector right here. And it's going to be sitting like right under this connector right there. So this is how it looks. It has a black wire going to it and it has a purple wire. So there is a dummy plug that's hooked up to that. All you wanna do is take it out. And then this blue wire with the plug that comes with the ultra cool kit that I took off that side that was installed incorrectly. This is the accessory power. And I double checked it with my, voltmeter once I turned on switched power you need switched power here so what I did was here is this is constant power so what would happen is potentially if you turn if the fans are on if you turn your bike off no matter what regardless the fans would kick off but the problem is the relay would still be powered and honestly it would probably drain your battery. So you definitely want to make sure it's on the right side, on the ABS side, switched power, purple wire. So this is accessory power. So it will only turn the ultra cool relay on. It's underneath already. It will only turn on that relay once you have the switch turned on. Another good bit of information, because I, I, I just was talking to JJ on the phone now from Ultra Cool. And a good point he made was a lot of times people, what they do is once they get home for a ride or just say they stop somewhere to get a bite to eat, the fans are running. And then instead of shutting the bike down totally and shutting the fans off, they kind of just shut their bike off, shut the engine off and they leave, still leave power to the bike on because they're thinking, oh, let the fans run. Maybe it'll cool the oil. You're not doing anything. The oil is not circulating because the motor's not running. So trust me when I tell you, shut the bike down. Don't worry about that. Once you get on going again, if need be, those fans are going to kick on and cool your oil. The only thing you could potentially do is draw or drain already a potentially dead battery that you might have is just gonna, you know, fry your battery and that's it. So just shut the bike off. Don't worry about that. Back in the garage, back from Milwaukee. What an amazing time. If you guys were there, let me know in the comments. I'm telling you, it just feels like there were so many bikes, like even more than Sturgis. I'm sure there probably wasn't, but it really did feel like that. It was an excellent event that Harley had for their 120th anniversary and their homecoming. We've seen some amazing things. I was hanging out with Rob from Be The Boss Your Motorcycle the entire couple days. It was just an amazing time. But anyway, we're back in the garage today and finally what i'm going to do is bring you guys the finale of the ultra cool oil cooler video because you guys seen obviously the install and stuff like that i also did some temperature readings with a laser thermometer i am going to give you guys the review on this there's one thing that i can't do is i can't moto vlog today i'll tell you why because when i was out in milwaukee somehow some way my a GoPro media mod for my helmet actually cracked and I'm waiting on another one. It should be coming today. So I can't take you along with me. So I am going to put, I don't know, about maybe between 20 and 30 miles on the bike, get it hot. And the good thing about today is 
the last time when I did this video, before I even installed the ultra cool oil cooler with the filter, it was about 78, 79 degrees when I ran the tests with the laser thermometer. So today, right now, it's about 85 degrees. So it's a lot warmer. So this way you guys could really see how this thing works. I'm curious as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave now. I'll give you guys a quick startup and then I'm going to take it for a ride and we'll finish the video back in the garage with me having the bike in the driveway idling and then I'm going to go around because I do have all of the temperatures written down here from when I edited the video so this way we know we could go over the temperatures together I'm really curious to what they're going to be and see how well this ultra cool oil cooler and filter work so this way I will not have any issues with my 128 and also so you guys know if you guys have big power on your bikes you're gonna know what to get even though i said this already but even though i was riding those beautiful cvo's i'm telling you there is nothing like coming home to mad max and starting her up So it's really, really interesting. So we were getting cylinder temp readings of over 300 degrees. The front was 308, the back was 302. And as you guys seen, it's almost 10 degrees warmer out, way more humid out. I ran the bike harder and longer than what I did before I installed the ultra cool oil cooler. And it dropped the temps down uh, quite a bit. The primary and stuff like that was the same, but I was really curious to see as far as the head temps because after talking to JJ from Ultra Cool, he explained to me that's the most important area. Once that starts reaching, once those temps start reaching almost 400 degrees, that's where the damage occurs and that's where uh, you could blow your motor and that's I'm sure that's what happened to my previous bike silverback so definitely the ultra cool works but now another thing JJ I'm rolling around left it outside so it cools off before I bring it into the garage but um you know another thing JJ pointed out is what's going to happen is if it's 95 100 degrees out it's never going to reach past those temperatures because of the oil cooler and the oil filter and the fans. It's going to maintain those temperatures. So what I'm going to do now is today was almost 10 degrees hotter than it was when I first did and recorded the temperatures before I installed the ultra cool uh, oil cooler and filter. The temps drop, that's a guarantee. So what else I'm gonna do is, say if it's 95, even closer to 100 out, I'm gonna take the bike out again. So stay tuned, I'm gonna take the bike out again and see what happens then. Because I think then we will be able to really judge and see how good this ultra cool oil cooler and filter really work. But I already noticed the difference. I don't feel a lot of heat on my legs. I didn't. A, a lot of you guys were asking me that, is the fan gonna blow all that heat onto your legs? No, I didn't feel anything. 
the fans were working fans were working really good uh but i didn't notice like a super it just you feel air blowing but it's it's a warm air it's not like a super heated air so it didn't affect my leg or anything like that but i think that'll be a, a good test first time before anything was installed it was about 78 degrees today it, it did get up to 88 degrees like right after i put my docked my phone back on my bike um after recording the temps so say it's 10 degrees hotter. I'm gonna wait until it's 10 degrees hotter than that. I'm gonna wait until it's about 95, 98 degrees. So this way we could all see how well it works. Because I'll tell you this, if I do the test, say in 98 degree weather, 95 degree weather, and the temps kind of stay the same or a tad bit cooler than what I had before without the installation, bone stock and it was only 78 degrees if the temps stay lower than they were at 78 and then we'll know it's as good as gold i know it will be because just having another oil cooler on the bike and now we got two extra fans with the oil filter that cools also i think i think it's going to work really well and it's just going to give me that's just how I feel. It's gonna give me that extra confidence knowing that if I'm out somewhere far down south, stuck in traffic, something like that, to where, uh, you know, like that's what happened on Silverback. I was stuck in traffic, it was about 100 degrees out. And I'm telling you, it didn't take long for the motor to go. We were probably stuck in traffic for about a half an hour to an hour. And then once the traffic let loose, all of a sudden, uh, I mentioned this already in a previous video, all of a sudden, uh, smoke started pouring out of the tailpipes. Engine started sounding weird and funny and clunking you know it's already too late another huge thing is uh that jj told me if you guys aren't running anything and if you run your bike in 9500 degree weather go home and change that oil because that oil will no longer work the oil breaks down the oil doesn't have the same viscosity it doesn't have the same oil properties as it should it is not going to lubricate and cool your motor as it should so definitely do that but what this system is going to do is it's it's going to prevent those oil temperatures from actually from rising too high to where the oil is actually burning like if you guys know like every fluid it has a like a flash point every oil has a flash point to where it's going to light on fire and every oil is going to have its limit as to what temperature that oil is just going to be totally destroyed and no longer be working for you so what's good about this system is it's going to keep those temps down to where that oil doesn't break down. If you guys wanted to see, these are the two lines that go into like the, I guess the plenum, uh, the piece that goes between the engine and the oil filter. That's how the oil gets circulated. And right here is the thermal switch. And I believe that JJ said the oil, once it reaches 260 degrees, I believe I'm, I believe that's correct. Um, once it reaches 260 degrees, the fans are going to kick on. So it's going to try to maintain that oil temperature at 260 degrees or below. I'll tell you now, the fan only kicked on for about, I'm going to say 15 to 20 seconds, something like that. And then they shut off. And like I said, it was about 87, 88 degrees today. Uh, that's the highest that I seen. Uh, it's about two o'clock, really hot, humid. So yeah, we'll see. Wait, hit that subscribe button. Let's see, cause I'm curious too, because I, I definitely know if I take this bike out and if it's well over 95 degrees out and I come back and run the temperatures again, and they're the same or just a slad bit higher, but lower than what it was at its stock form without the oil cooler and oil filter and also over 20 degrees cooler, then it's definitely uh, a plus. And like I already said, King of the Baggers, Harley Davidson race team and a whole bunch of other race teams are using the filter already. Definitely keep that oil clean. Check out Ultra Cool. I'll leave all the links down below in the description and stay tuned for the next review. I'm still a little beat up from Milwaukee, but we have some awesome content coming your way, guys. So hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget, guys, we are still running the Saddleman Seat giveaway. It's a Saddleman Seat. We're also giving away one Ultra Cool oil filter, a six inch Clockwork Sport Flare windshield, and a pair 
of Indie Ridge boots. All you got to do is head on over to my website, www.cycle-fanatics.com. Get yourself entered to win by purchasing one sticker or two or three or four. Right now, we're doubling entries. I think I'm going to end the giveaway July 29th and announcing the winner. And check out this badass Harley Davidson 120th anniversary banner we got that in the garage now all right guys thanks so much i got a whole bunch of editing to do still from milwaukee thanks for watching and i appreciate every single one of you guys peace out